Hello fellow Easterlingers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a big mini and this is Cthulhu from Cthulhu Death May Die. He's one of the elder ones. He's underpainted with some matte black, some Game Master Dungeon Grey, and then some dungeon effects or highlights, which is white. And we're actually going to be doing some contrast paints on this big guy. And we're starting off with Gut Ripa Green. Yep, I don't even think I've ever used this. This is one of their new uh, contrast paints. It's going to make them have like a kind of slimy-ish looking green. But we won't stick with this completely. And it's, this is a really big miniature, as you can see. He's not this typical mini. Uh, he's bigger because he's one of the elder ones from this. And this is also in reference to the new Kickstarter that is ending today. Uh, if you're watching this uh, way later in the future, well then, it already probably ended. Uh, I uh, don't know if I was going to back it or not. I was waiting until the last minute to see everything. But uh, this is a game that really intrigues me. I've always liked this game. Uh, I find the mechanics are really awesome. Uh, Simon again does a great job with the miniatures with the actual game itself uh, you know you can never be surprised with a Simon game I find with their minis and this I mean the death may die miniatures I've painted a few in the past you've seen them on the channel uh, you can take a look at that playlist if you want um, I just they fell on the back burner because of everything else I had going on plus it was an older game too and I know some people are like oh well we already painted these things we've already seen them but you know what I looked it up online there aren't that many that were painted and I like giving my always my point of view of how I paint them plus I'm using a new contrast paint and I'm using the Zenithal or underpainting or slap chop or whatever you want to call it. Well, actually, no, not Zenithal at all, actually. It is either underpainting or the slap chop method on this big guy. Uh, I didn't want to call it slap chop in the title. I want to call this underpainting because a lot of people out there are saying, oh, slap chop is just a stupid way of getting views and, uh, you know, and all that. Anyways, so if you like the way I painted this guy up, Hit that like button if you don't well eh, tough luck uh, <laughs> and if you're new to the channel like most of you are please hit that subscribe button skeleton horde now we're gonna be doing this on the skin or of uh, the wings are like this webbing skin now as you can see uh the underpainting is really dark on this especially on the inside uh because there's not many raised edges when you hit that white on the top parts nor the gray as well uh so it will be a little darker than it should be if you had done this all in white, uh, then it'd be like super bright. And I found that with the Death May Die, I mean, you don't want bright colors. It's a dark game. It's a horror style game, right? Uh, it's a cult classic game. Uh, you don't want it to be all, oh, look pretty colors and super vibrant. No, no, you want it to look scary on the table. Nurgling Green now, this is a dry paint. We're gonna be going down on top of all that, uh, whatever it was called, Gut Ripper Green. And just to get the rays, really just touch the edges and uh, give it a little bit more vibrancy. You'll see it the darker will stay darker again. It does a really good job. I, I, I find that this is turning out to be a great mini. Some Volupus pink now and on those wonderful tentacles. Now in the artwork, it is hard to see, but it looks more like a darker brown or like a, a I don't know. But I find tentacles should be pinkish or red or purple or whatever. I just find that that's what it is. And... That's what I decided to paint it with. So the Volupus Pink is an older contrast paint. It's not a newer one. But with the uh, underpainting, I find it does a great job of having like dark areas, light areas, a little bit more gruesome tentacles than what normally would be. Uh, now we're doing a little Manny Petty on this big mini. Uh, we're doing some Saigor Brown on the nails. So on the feet, the hands. And we're also going to get the uh, tips of his hands or his fingers uh, that are on the wings as well. Uh, it's just going to darken it down a bit more. And even if it already has like some contrast on it, it's not a big deal. It's going to cover it up pretty well because the side or brown is pretty dark. Uh, even there's not much highlighting on these areas, but wherever it is, it, you'll see a bit of light, not much. It's mostly just going to cover up the contrast that was already there and, and actually give a little bit more oomph to those hands, make it more, I don't know, those nails a little bit more gruesome and stuff. A little bit of Reichlin flesh shade now, just on the hands that are on the wings. Now you could go into the skin on Cthulhu itself just a little bit, and maybe on the top part or the front part of the face, maybe I don't know, just to give it a little bit more of a brown look or some. So you could even splotch this if you want, but I don't think that would be very nice. But uh, I just find it makes it a little bit more grimier on there. Now we're taking some Centaur skin. This is an army painter war paint or war color. I don't know what they're calling them anymore. Uh, and just really touching the tops of all those like little pus balls or skin thingies and just really 
not going further than that. I've seen people who took a brush and went around every single edge. I've seen some people put some purple uh, contrast in there. Uh, I thought that this little centaur pink was just perfect for that. Plus, I'm doing that on all four of his eyes on each side of his head to really make those pop and show on him, just like he's got those glowing eyes. And there you have it. Cthulhu from Cthulhu Death May Die. Take a look at the new Kickstarter if you haven't, or wait for the late pledge. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.